Hey guys, welcome back for another review. I'm glad to have you guys back. I appreciate you guys being here on my page. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Laurie. I love to review nail polish collections. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Essie Odd Squad collection. This is new, I believe, to 2024. So I am getting it a little bit earlier. It is available on Amazon right now. And so I will link everything down below. But I was kind of thinking this was the Essie Winter Collection for us here in the US, but I don't think it is. I think we just maybe weren't part of the new SE <laughs> winter collection for 2023. I am not sure. So that's been interesting with SE this year. I kept waiting and waiting for the winter collection, but I think it's just available to those in the UK and select EU countries. And so I have that review. It's called the Just Chill Collection and it is available in those places. So you can check my review out. It was the last one before this one. Okay. So this is the Odd Squad collection. And I have to say as a whole, this collection is odd. So I do think it's an odd squad. So so I don't know if they did that on purpose or what, but it's just kind of like a handful of interesting polishes that don't cohesively go together in my opinion, but there are a few winners in here. So we're going to talk about those. Before I get into it, I'm going to talk about what's on my lips. This is taking me back to the 90s. This is 1993 from Urban Decay and I love it. It's kind of a darker moody shade and it's a FOMO that I like to pull out this time of year. On my nails, I'm going to talk about that. It's one of my favorites from this collection. We'll get to that in a minute and then I will link my shirt down below. It's the softest denim shirt and I just love it so much. I'm going to start out showing you the polishes all together so you can just kind of see the wide range of colors here. Very, very interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. First up here is Never Basic, which is kind of funny because I feel like this shade is pretty basic. <laughs> it's like a terracotta mauve and I feel like every time Essie comes out with a collection, they come out with some kind of shade like this and I'm wondering who is wearing these? Who is wearing these shades? <laughs> That's what I want to know just because I never wear them. I never wear any of them. I have a million of them and I just don't reach for them. So I want to know if you're wearing them. Please tell me down below if you are. I think I've asked that before, but I really want to know. And maybe it's because this is kind of mid-tone, so it's kind of closer on my medium tone skin. I imagine if I had more pale skin or darker skin, I would like them a little bit more. I do like that this is a little bit darker than some of the other ones that I have, so it is slightly different. But anyway, Ah, so many of these shades, but it's very nice. It's got a very nice format. It's going to opaque in pretty much one coat. You can do one to two. I believe I did two for the picture swatch just because I prefer to. So it's really nice. And I do like that it leans a little bit more rosy and you'll see that here as I compare it to some of the others that I do have to a lot of others. <laughs> I just pulled the ones that are closest and to be honest, they're all slightly different, but we'll look at that here. Compared it to Responds with a Kiss and that's a little dustier and a little bit lighter and Suit and Tide is more brown and Les's Ara is more tan. So they are all a little different, but anyway, so I decided to pull some more after that just because I wasn't quite satisfied with those comparisons. So I pulled out Eternal Optimist because I thought I would get asked and that's kind of close, but it's definitely more pink. I pulled out OPI Guda Guda Two Shoes and that one's very close as far as color goes, but that one does have some golden shimmer in it. And then I compared it to I'll Have a Gin and Tectonic and that one's more peachy. As you can see, I don't have anything in my my collection that's exactly the same so they are all different variations but I just never wear these I just don't and then perfectly peculiar is this next one and it's kind of interesting to go from that kind of mauve shade to this brighter <laughs> more like summery shade. I don't know, very interesting. This is a lime leaning mint green. So I wouldn't call it a lime exactly. It definitely has a little bit of mint to it. it. Has a lot of white in the base, so it's pretty bright. It's just amazing. I love this one so much. I do feel like it's kind of a summer color. I don't know if I'd pull this out in winter. I just like to save these kind of colors for when it's starting to warm up a little bit. It's got a good formula. It does take two coats to build up to full opacity, but it's a really, really nice formula that goes on very very smoothly. So I did a few comps for this one as well. Essie has been coming out with a lot of shades like this, which I'm really not too mad about, but let's just compare them within that line to see how close they all are. With Essie, we have a long for the vibe and that one's darker and cooler. It's high time is lighter and more kind of a fresh and bright color. And then first timer is cooler as well. So they are different. This one does lean a little bit more lime compared to those other ones. And now getting 
going into the OPI shades, we have My Dog Sled is a hybrid, and that's a little bit more blue. I'm on a sushi roll is more blue. And then You're So Out of Lime, I wanted to put in a true lime so you could see that this newer one is kind of a minty lime instead of a straight up lime. It doesn't have a lot of yellow in it. I am super happy about this one. This is one that I definitely will pull out and wear. I love any kind of greens, and I do love these in the spring and summertime. So it is a little bit different. How are you feeling about all these greens that are just popping up? I'm not too mad about these kind of mintier greens. I'm liking it. Essie has a lot of blue leaning mints and so I like that they're coming out with the more green ones and I do like that this is more mint leaning instead of more lime because I definitely prefer the cooler toned ones. Then we're going to switch it back up and go to more muted shades but I love that Essie added this one. This is mismatched to match. It is beautiful. I love shades like this so much. It's a mid-tone muted purple that's a little bit smoky, maybe has a touch of brown. I love it for this time of year. The formula on this one is really great. One to two coats for full opacity. You can get away with one coat. I like to do two though, but it's got a really, really nice formula. Of course, I like this polish because a lot of my Essie favorites are very similar to this one and one from OPI that was my favorite color from last year called Clay Dreaming. And so, of course, I gravitate towards these and get excited about them even though there are quite a few. They are all just a touch different from each other so let's look at that. Compared to Merino Cool that one's a touch cooler but close. Clay Dreaming is also close. I would say it's a touch brighter and has maybe a little bit more purple in it and then Rooting For You another one of my favorites that was a Target exclusive polish is a touch more red brown. So all are a little bit different and I have to say that I love every single one of these on my nail <laughs> and this is the one that I'm wearing on my nails today and so of course I love it because the first one I wanted to wear for this time of the year. I might have reached for the green if it was spring, but it is like the end of fall, beginning of winter, and I'm definitely in the mood for shades like this, so I went for it. Then we're gonna go back up to the brights. Really interesting. Definitely an odd squad. <laughs> I think it's appropriately named. This one's offbeat chic, and I do like a good bright blue. I don't know what else to say about it. It's a mid-tone blue. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It's kind of in the middle, and it's got a good formula. It's gonna be opaque in two coats, but have we seen this? I feel like there's a lot of blue essies, so obviously I'm going to put those side by side so you guys can see them, and here they are here. So I compared it to Strut Your Stuff, and that one's almost exact. Just a touch darker, and then Hyperlinked is similar, but it's a touch lighter and a touch warmer, and then Revenge's Beach is a dusty muted blue. I know there was a new blue that came out in the Just Chill collection, and it was darker than this one. Kind of a similar color tone, I want to say say, but they have quite a few that are that kind of darker tone, but this is a mid-tone, so it's a little bit different. I don't know. I like it. I'll probably wear it come spring or summer. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to reach for it before that. Another one I'm excited about is Odd Squad, and I love that Essie added this rich, dark, chocolatey brown. It's a brown that has some red hue to it, and so it's a little bit warmer. I like it. I feel like Essie needed some of these darker brown shades. They have a handful of mid-tone browns and some lighter browns, but they don't really have these dark, rich browns. I'm so happy about this one. It's a little bit smoky as well. I feel like this dries down a touch dark than it does in the bottle too. So let's look at the comparisons that I have. A new one that's from Essie from their fall collection, I believe, is Lights Down Music Up. One of my favorite browns, and it's because Essie doesn't have a lot of browns, so I love that one. That is a brown, though, that's darker, but it leans more purple. So it's a little bit different than this one. And then Brown to Earth has a touch of purple in it, so it's a little bit cooler toned, whereas Odd Squad has the red. Brown to Earth has that purple hue, and then sh its top secret is really dark dark and almost black. And I would say looking at that one really up close to the light, that one is a cooler toned brown as well. So it has a little bit of purple in it. So this one's different. It's not like super warm like Endless Sunner and some of those other OPI shades that are really warm. So it's kind of in the middle. It's a little more red. So I love that they added this one. And then we have Not A Face and this is another brick red. We've been seeing a lot of brick reds from Essie and other collections. <laughs> in fact, you'll see some of the comparisons that I have are a lot of recent releases. Uh, but this one has a really nice formula. I do feel like this one's a little bit darker and a little bit richer than some of those other ones that they've been coming out with. And I did like it. I like it on my skin tone 
tone. I think it's really nice. I think it's very flattering. And sometimes I am craving a brick red, but a lot of the times I kind of lean towards those bright pink reds. But this one's got a really beautiful formula. It's gonna be opaque pretty much in one coat. I think I did two for my picture swatch. Yeah, in my notes I put that the formula is really thick and creamy and smooth. Obviously not too thick or that would be annoying. So I think it's got a really, really fantastic formula. So let's see the comparisons. I compared it to Brick, which is new from the Alvin June Crick Dye line that was released this fall winter, which I have a review for with the band and then Love Note Worthy, which is a little bit brighter, but I feel like Brick and with the band are pretty close. But like I mentioned before, Not A Phase is maybe a hint darker than those, but basically it's the same color tone. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys. I think you'll be able to know which ones are my favorite. Let me know if you guess them down below <laughs> because it's definitely not gonna be this one. No, I'm not gonna do it. It's not gonna be the red because there's a million. It's not gonna be the blue. And looking at these makes me happy because these are my favorites from the collection. Obviously the dark brown, which is newer, which is called Odd Squad, and this mismatch to match, which is the one on my nails. And as you can see, it does seem to just dry down a little bit darker than in the bottle as well. And then this green, which is perfectly peculiar. So those are the three that I like from this collection. Let me know your thoughts on this collection and your thoughts and maybe us not having an SE Winter collection. I just thought that was so interesting. And I feel like I should know what's going on, but I kind of, I kind of don't. So anyway, I feel like we get a ton of SE releases and so I feel like I'm always reviewing a new SE collection so it's not a huge loss, but I do kind of always look forward to those holiday collections. So I was a little bit bummed because I was kind of looking forward to it, but at least we have a few good shades in this one. So let me know down below which ones your favorites were and thanks so much for watching. As you leave, hit the like button. That would totally help me out. And if you're new, please think about subscribing. I would love to have you join us. Thanks, Polish Freaks. We will see you later. Bye.